Hello, and welcome to the next Key Factor video with Bouncy Castle on Post Quantum Crypto. And today we're going to cover how to issue a hybrid cert. So this video uses is a, is a, a follow-up of the previous one we did on installing Bouncy Castle with the Kotlin project. So we're going to continue right with that virtual machine where we had installed those pieces. So let's hop over and begin what we're going to cover today. All right, so we're back at our command line like this, and we're gonna SSH back over to our test box we used from the previous video, and we'll authenticate here, and we can see that we've got the Bouncy Castle Kotlin already set there, and Gradle, so we're going to load the ENV again to update the path to be able to compile Gradle, or add it to the path, and then we're going to CD over to the BC Kotlin examples directory, and we're going to do a Gradle build here, which is going to build the sample projects that they've included in here. All right, so we get it compiled like that. Then we're going to move back over to the PQC certs. And then we're going to run this command that gives us the ability to make a hybrid certificate. So we'll launch this guy, and we get the output where we have a CRL. We've got the certificate and we have the key. So the key being that small like that, it's using an ED25519 key. But now we'll copy the certificate, and then we're going to use Vim and call it hybrid pub.pem. There we go. And hit enter, and then we'll press I to insert. We'll paste it in there, escape colon WQ to quit. And then we're gonna use OpenSSL, and we can parse this here. All right, so we get the command typed in here, and voila, we have the regular certificate like that, and then we've got those fields of the 72, 73, and 74, which are the alternate signature, the signature algorithm, and the alternate public key fields. So it's that easy with Bouncy Castle Kotlin here to generate hybrid certificates like that. And you might be wondering what else we could do. So if you look over in the directory of the examples in the main part, so it goes into the source, main, Kotlin, there's actually a bunch of other examples in here that you can run to do other things with as well. So if you want to, you can go play with those and give those a try as well. But anyhow, it's pretty sweet. Now you can go and make post-quantum certificates that are hybrid and enjoy. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.